law of cosines. We're going to complete a triangle. You complete me. Oh, mini me. What are we using? Well, let's make our triangle. I see that our beta is 23, so I'm not going to let that be the big angle. I'm just going to make it the close one. It's less work. So that's my 23 degrees. And my B's is going to be across from it. Now, I labeled these guys appropriately aesthetically with my 9 being smaller than my 12. I put it on the smaller leg. <laughs> and then that makes alpha opposite A and gamma opposite C. And now we go through and we use this law of cosines. I underlined that one right there. Since we have a beta, an A, and a C, yeah, we do need side-side angle on this. Or angle, 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 but we'll get to that angle in a moment. Boom. So my B squared is 9 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 9 times 12 times the cosine of 23. You pound that out. When I say that, I get a lot of comments on YouTube videos. What do you mean, pound it out? I mean, whip out your calculators and push the buttons. Make sure your calculator's in degrees. Boom. And our B squared, oh, B squared, is 26.17. And then I root it, because I want to get to the root of this. And B turns out to be 5.12. Let's just call it 5.1. Rounded. Now what? That's my B on this side. Now we have options. We see we need to go and we need to get those angles. I prefer you use the law of cosines, because it's simpler. But what? Since we're here using the law of cosines, we might as well make the alternate form if you had side, side, side. What do I say, say, say? I'm going to take that top one right there. I'm subtracting off that b squared minus that and that c squared. Move them to the other side. They cross the bridge. They pay the toll. I'm going to multiply everything by a minus. That's what happened there. And I'm trying to get alpha, so I divide by everything in front of alpha. That's 2bc on both sides. So let me just rewrite what's happening. I have the cosine of alpha is equal to b squared plus c squared minus a squared all over 2b. Now if we want to get alpha, we go inversely. Alpha is the inverse cosine of b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by 2bc. Oh, we. The only thing that is negative is a. Okay, so let's do that right down here. Our alpha is the cosine inverse of we filled in the numbers. So then you pound that out. Use your calculator. Make sure it's in degrees. And we see it's 48.3 <laughs> degrees. So we can put that there because that was our alpha. We were seeking him. So now we seek gamma. Gamma going to be 180 minus the other two, because the sum of the interior angles of a triangle add up to be 180. Heavens to Mercatroyd. And yeah, 113.7 degrees. And does it make sense? Is our big angle opposite our big side? Uh-huh. Is our middle angle opposite the middle side? Uh-huh. Is our small angle opposite the small side? Uh-huh. Bye.